Hi, my name is Andy J. Salgado, and I play Tyler Rooney in the horror feature film Mr. White. Tyler is a very unique character. He's different. Um, he has a horrible home life. He gets bullied in school. He lost the love of his life to the kids that bully him. His mom is in an insane asylum. He only has one friend, that's his uncle. He sees a guy named Mr. White that nobody else can see, so he, they think that he's crazy. And he stutters, so he has, he has it pretty rough, uh, this Tyler kid. The most memorable time that I had would probably be um, the day of my birthday. And we were filming in this huge, beautiful house that had all of the toys that any kid would probably want. We had golf carts, and we had a game room, and we had just, we, we had so much fun. We could do anything that we wanted. And at 1 a.m. in the morning, Erica, the director of Mr. White, and I decided to take a golf cart out on this, like, four acre, just this gigantic area. And basically, I lost my voice the next day, and I got yelled at by Erica, but I blamed it on her because it was her fault. So, <laughs> that's probably the most memorable time. It was really fun. It was really fun. People should probably see this film because it's, other than having everything that you could want in a horror film, so the person that loves the blood and the guts and the gore and the death scenes and stuff, this has, this definitely has that. But it touches on bullying and, and something that's going on globally right now. And uh, so you get to see it from two different perspectives. You get to see it from the side of the bully and the person that's being bullied. Um, it's a really fun film. It's tastefully done. Erica just, she did the, the greatest job. We worked so hard. It's a film that will definitely change people's opinions on what is actually there and what isn't, or it's going to make people just wonder a little bit about, you know, what they think and their morals, and it's gonna change opinions, not just on bullying, but definitely horror, horror, horror people in general are really gonna like it. This was my first movie, and it was an amazing experience. Erica definitely set the high standard for what I expect from a director now. She was patient with me, and I got to do many things behind the scenes, but it was definitely a challenge to put myself in a place so unique, because Tyler is so unique. So it was definitely very... It was very interesting to be able to learn so much about myself and put myself in a place that's completely different than mine. It was actually harder to get out of character than get into character. I started stuttering for a couple weeks afterwards and I started just, you know, I started having flashbacks to a lot of the scenes in the movie that I had to just forget about because I had to realize that when you're working as someone else for 14 hours, 12 hours, you sort of lose yourself a little bit. So once that's done, you have to just completely basically just move on and go on to your next project or go on to the next thing that you're doing. <laughs>